And members of the Coleraine football team are playing in a playoff game after a crash on the interstate. Police initially told us this involved three school buses, but now it appears just one of them crashed. Local 12's Luke Jones joins us live now with a closer look at what exactly happened and some reaction from the families of these football players. Luke. Yeah, Adam, and we actually just got some brand new information in from state troopers. So they're saying there were three school buses involved after all, and that basically this was a chain reaction crash. I want to go ahead and show you some pictures of those wrecked school buses we just got in from authorities. Take a look here. You can see some damage to the fenders, both on, both on the front and the back, depending on which of those buses you're looking at. Uh, basically, this happened around 530 on I-75 North at Cincinnati Dayton Road as those buses were on the way to tonight's game. One of the buses in front came across some traffic, so of course they had to stop, and that's when the two buses behind it ended up hitting each other, and I'm told a Ford pickup truck also hit one of the buses. Now, eight people were injured and had to go to the hospital with minor injuries. Of those eight, seven are students, and some of those are even players. I spoke to the father of the uh, Colerain Cardinals quarterback. His son was on board one of the buses that crashed. Uh, take a listen to what he had to say. I wasn't really worried about it once my pop said that Zay was all right. I called him and he answered the phone. We was on our way to the game. So again, the Colerain Cardinals are playing right now as we speak. They are down a couple of players, though, and we're told some of those injured on that bus were water girls. We're hearing that, that from parents. Uh, we do know one of the injured was also an adult. We've seen some reports that was another coach, but we don't have that confirmed at the moment. So that game continues at the moment against the Mason team. We'll let you know what happens, but for now, we're live in Mason. Luke Jones, Local 12 News. All right, Luke, thank you for that update.